No political party is allowed to change or substitute any candidate. That is so clear. After the, I mean, uh, after all these documents have been submitted, no political party, except, and this is the word that we should place an accent on, except in the case of death. In other words, if death happens after the submission of those things or during the election or any time before the elections are being, uh, the elections are concluded. If I may come in here, yes. what, you're, what you're saying is that, let's just say on Saturday of the election, yes. as the voting was going on, yes. a candidate drops dead, yes. the INEC would have to stop and then allow that party to substitute. Correct. Is that what you're saying? Correct. That's Correct. what should have happened. Correct. Yeah. That's what should have happened. And that's what is going to happen now. Anything outside this one is wrong. And the Supreme Court is there to, uh, to if you will remember what, I've, what I'm telling you now, the Supreme Court is there to say that this is a, the, the party has a right to substitute, to change that, I mean, to substitute that candidate. In this particular case, say, I mean, okay. Um, the APC says it has said it's going to conduct primaries. You're talking about substitution. What then is the process for the due process for substituting a candidate? If they want to conduct a prime, I mean, if they want to conduct primaries in order to uh, to see to nominate a gubernatorial candidate, that's up to them. But they should do it fast before they rerun election date. They, if they if they want, if they cannot nominate a candidate without primaries, let them go ahead and do primaries and nominate. But they, sh I mean, uh, yes, and they substitute that fellow. But it, they have the right to substitute. That's what, all I'm Wouldn't saying. Wouldn't the nomination be in position on the elector? Uh, I beg the, your pardon? Uh, when you nominate, if the party nominates a candidate, wouldn't it be some form of imposition on the electorate? On the electorate? Yes. Uh, well, no. I mean, the... Um, I can answer that we, if, they, if they nominate a candidate, I mean, any party, the party must nominate. That's what the law is saying. Mm -hmm. Now, how they do it uh, is left to them. Without they putting want, they the want to electorate do primaries, into cogniz They want to do primaries or consult, to do consultation all, all throughout the party in order to be able to get the right, the right candidate. That's up to them. It's okay, but, but yes. if, if I may tie in here, yes. the candidates that was in the election and drops dead yes. probably has votes, people voting for him because of who he is, not because of the party. Yeah, but so now that the party mm. is going to replace that candidate, yes. are those electorate being considered? Do you think they even want that person? Well, they, they voted, I mean, uh, so far they voted for him. So in should those votes still accrue to that party? That the, vo the votes accrue to that party. Not the to individual. To the party. Not the individual because the Supreme Court has said that what you are actually voting for is a party. And if you see Section 221 of the Constitution, it is the party that is... Uh, that, that's, that's where we can talk of party supremacy. Not in the other case, not, not in that case when they were talking of party supremacy in the National Assembly. But this, in this matter, there is party supremacy. It is the party that is voted for, not the, the, not the, not the candidate. Mm -hmm. So that, and that's why they say, they say the, part, I mean, the party has the right to substitute or change a candidate in the case of death. That's what Sajitri is saying. Okay, going back to what Neota is saying, if during the course of an election a candidate drops dead, yes. And the party has the right to substitute. Yes. Does it mean there and then someone else is brought in or the election process should be totally nullified? Should it be cancelled? It and cannot be cancelled. So it there and then a candidate mm. should just be substituted right. A candidate is substituted, but because that's what the law is saying. Whatever we may have against it is a different thing. Whatever we may have against that procedure is a different thing. But the constitution, I mean, the, the electoral act says... If and whenever a candidate dies, or drops dead, the party has the right to substitute or change him. Not in any other condition. So in, yes. in, this, in this case now, you're not talking about fresh elections. You're saying I next should go ahead with the supplementary. Oh, yes, vote. of course. Well, the elections must continue. You, because they didn't say the election shall be nullified and then 
uh, you know, a new candidate, uh, you know, uh, substituted. They are now saying that. They are saying you substitute the candidate and the election goes on. That portion of the constitution that talks about a, a candidate shall be duly nominated. Yes. Shall be deemed to be duly nominated if he has a running mate. Yes. Where does that one come into play here? Because right no, now, no, Faleke no. is saying that he, because it's a joint yes. ticket, mm -hmm. so the votes that were cast for the APC in that election mm. were cast for Faleke, Aoudou and Faleke. Yes. So Faleke is now screaming that yeah. he is, she should be the one standing there. What if he doesn't get nominated now by the APC? It doesn't matter. Faleke has no right at all in this matter. He has no right? No, no right at all. He can't go to court? No, and... he can't go to court. He will fail. Because, you see, the law is not on his side. Once Section 187 of the, of the Constitution says that every, any gubernatorial candidate must have a deputy for his candidature to be valid. That's what Section 187, and that's what Falik is, is thinking about. For his only, the uh, governor must, must have a running mate, that is, for his candidature to be valid. Mm. Now, um, but, but they must win the election. When they win the election, it will be, it will be uh, assumed to have won the election along with his boss. That's what they say. Mm. But the election has been, been won. Okay, another question. So the, only, the only time when the election is won is Section 180, 181. If the elections have been won and his own boss dropped dead, he will become the governor. He will become the governor elect, you know, and he will, uh, I mean, uh, choose another deputy to be approved by the Senate with a, with a minority vote. Mm. If I may come in here, Mr. Chris, another yes. question, please, up now. If a candidate is substituted yes. during the course of an election, yes. what happens to Faleke? Does he remain the deputy governorship candidate, or doesn't the new governorship candidate have a right to pick his running mate because that is what the constitution says he should have his running mate and he has a right to pick his running mate does the, faleke automatically become his running mate uh, the way i look at it is that uh, to, uh, faleke will remain deputy governor if his party has not chosen him because what what can happen now is that apc could say faleke david faleke you are now the uh, the gubernatorial candidate Choose a deputy. When you choose a deputy, that will be all right by the law. Now, uh, but Faleke cannot impose himself. And he man then say, as a result of the death of my boss, I become the governor-elect. That is far from the law. See, so um, the, gov I mean, the party can elect, I mean, nominate another gubernatorial candidate, you know, and Faleke will remain deputy, uh, deputy governor, as it has always been. But Faleke may say, I mean, uh, the, the party may say, the whole thing is in the, in the, the court of, of the party. What if the, can, the new candidate says, I want to pick my running mate, it's my right, I should Who? have a running mate. The news, the substitute, the substitute. Well, I don't, think, he, he I, don't, to... I don't think that that would be possible because the, uh, the deputy had been chosen before, and he has been there, so the, the status quo must be maintained. He has no right now to say he's picking a running, a running mate. No, that time is passed, because they voted for, they voted for the, the deputy up to this extent, up to the extent when they, uh, the, the point when the, his own boss died. So they voted for him too. You, you know, this is very similar to what uh, we saw from the uh, national chairman of the APC, John yes. Otigoyegu. Perhaps we'll, we'll get back to that again and refresh our minds on what he said. I, I'm so excited about this that you have brought on 33 because we have all this quoted 33. Yes. And if you look at it, it would seem as if uh, the constitution uh, did provide uh, for what we uh, have always said uh, oh, yes. uh, he, he never provided for. Yes. Because going back to 33, yes. uh, I've been so engrossed looking at 33, yes. uh, we'll go back again saying that a political party shall not be allowed. Yes. You're not allowed to substitute or change, or your, change. Uh, your candidate, whose yes. name has been submitted. Oh, yes. uh, so Unless. submission submission now means 
even before election, yes, during, election during election, then they now come with the accept yes. in the case of death yes. or withdrawal. Yes. Uh, and that's what INEC is saying, and that's what the party is this saying. This very place that you have read out, that you have, you know, pointing at now, anticipates the death of Audu, uh, Abu Bakr Audu. So... It just it, anticipates it. So, for, the, for those saying that this doesn't mean what it does mean... Yes. Because there are also lawyers like yeah, yourself. Yeah, I know, but no person can say because, you see, what each one of us says may be tried out at the Supreme Court one day, and then you will remember that I said so. This is what the Supreme Court is going to say. The, you know, the, that, the, that, that Section 33, you know, no party shall, after documents have been submitted to INEC, or, you know, under the, under the provisions of section, uh, section 31 and 32, be allowed to make any change, be allowed to make any change or, or to make any substitution, provided, that's the word, provide, I mean, prov or, or unless, unless. That's another word for the except, unless. Yes, except unless, you know, one, the, 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 uh, the candidate dies. Because that's why I told you we can reframe this sentence to mean a political party, any political party, has the right to, uh, you know, substitute or change his candidate, uh, its candidate, if there, if there is death. That's another way to reframe it. Why, you know... Uh Otherwise, not allowed. Politicians and close watchers of what's happening and even legal minds had thought that uh, the Supreme Court would have been approached by now for interpretation of this. Yes. But it was the Attorney General of the Federation that spoke. Yes. How does that sit? Well, um, you should, uh, well, nobody, by the time the Attorney General spoke, by the time he came on the television to tell all of us that uh, the by election, I mean, uh, the so runoff election elections, elections will take place on uh, December 5, nobody had gone to the Supreme Court. Because the Supreme Court has uh, the sole jurisdiction to try a matter like this. This is a constitutional issue. So it's only the Supreme Court. You don't go to the High Court, you don't go to the Court of Appeal. So it's only the Supreme Court. But nobody had approached the Supreme Court for anything. So the man, and we cannot, we cannot wait like that forever and a day. We, somebody has to make a pronouncement so we can move forward. So he came and thank God, fortunately for all of us, he said the right thing. Except that he did not say that except. He knew that it was section 33. But that except that I've said makes the difference between what he said and what, what, uh, what others are saying. Chris Akiri, we'd like to thank you so much for coming on the program this it's morning. It's my pleasure. Uh, Chris Akiri is a legal practitioner. Are you still the chairman? Yes. Editorial board yes. of National Daily Newspapers? Yes, thank you so much for it's spending time pleasure. with us. We'll take a moment here on the program. We'll return shortly. Stay with us.